mock-up for bomb prop number four. It's going to be the same case as number three, the black pistol case. This one, however, they will be able to open. When they do, there will be a blacked-out plexiglass. Glass. It's not done yet. Like I said, it's mocked up. But uh, it's got the timer, which I've got these holes that you can poke a stick in to set it. I thought that was going to be better than having push buttons that they could accidentally push and turn it off. So to set it, we're going to need a little sticky to poke those little buttons inside. But, however, you're going to need a button over here to enter in the combination lock. The combination lock has got a pentameter here. You can dial in the numbers you want. When you get to the number you want for the combination, you push the button, dial in your next number, push the button, so on and so forth. Four-digit number, when you enter in the right one, um, it shuts off the timer. If you enter in the wrong one, it'll buzz, and you have to start all over again. So the timer will keep running until you enter in the right combination. Over here is the Super Duper buzzer. It was loud enough to give both my wife and I small heart attacks when it accidentally went off. I'm going to be getting more of these and replacing all my other buzzers with these because these suckers are freaking loud with an 11.1 .1 LiPo. Uh, I still have to figure out how to secure this, but you can see the electronics package and it is hooked up to the 11.1 .1 LiPo. So that is bomb prop number four. After this one, number five.